Sequoia. Sequoia Capital is one of the most prominent, if not the most prominent, uh, venture capital funds in the United States. Uh, it is uh, one of, if not the most successful venture capital. Uh, they have done phenomenally well. They, they have funded pretty much every, uh, have been involved in the funding of pretty much every successful tech company that I can think of. Doesn't mean all of them, but I can think of one of their, you know, they starting out with, with companies even before Apple, but including Apple and Cisco and many of the early Silicon Valley, but all the way to today. Um, Sequoia did lose a lot of money on, on FTX. But one of the things that Sequoia did about 20 years ago, maybe more, is um, they opened up Sequoia China. Um, they, 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 um, uh, some of their partners in the U.S. were of Chinese origin. They moved to China. They headed it up. They hired local talent. And so China, China was the large extent responsible for much of the, uh, of the profitability and, and, and amazing returns that Sequoia generated um, over the last uh, 20 or so years, so uh, or, or maybe more, but at least 20 years. So Sequoia China was a big part of the Sequoia Capital success. Again, Sequoia Capital, you know, pretty much every company that you can think of as a, as a significant, uh, you know, the, They've had significant positions in Amazon. They, you, what was that shoe company where you could, you bought the shoes, a bunch of shoes, you tried them all on, you kept the ones you liked, you sent back the ones you didn't like. Uh, Zappos, Zappos. They were investors in Zappos, which was bought by Amazon. Anyway, they were, they were, they were investors in Amazon. They were, pretty much every one of these companies, they were part of the initial investors in them. Um, and I got to know uh, one of the founders of Sequoia Capital, a, a really amazing amazing human being. Uh, anyway, uh, over the years, Sequoia, Sequoia has offices in Israel, it has offices in Europe, in the UK, it has offices in, in India. There's a real presence in India. And of course, it has a presence in China. Today, Sequoia announced they were splitting up. And, this, and I found this really interesting. They were, uh, they were creating two, uh, they were basically spinning out their China operations and creating a new um, venture capital fund uh, with, a, with a new name, same venture capital fund with a new name in China that uh, would co be completely legally and, and uh, in terms of uh, partnership separate. Uh, so it would be owned by the partners in China, completely separate than the American venture capital fund. And then they were creating a third entity that would take India and Southern Asia um, that would be responsible, I guess, for Asia other than uh, China. Um, and then the U.S. would, would keep so the traditional Sequoia, would stay in Silicon Valley and, and, and continue to, to be called Sequoia Capital. I found this interesting on a, a number of different fronts. I, I, I think this represents one further example of uh, the West kind of leaving China, uh, Western businesses cutting ties with China. Uh, some of this is, is by, by China's inspiration. I was also reading some articles about the fact that China, Chinese, the Chinese security forces have been raiding Western companies and Western consulting companies, accounting companies, and, and basically doing what they can to discourage them from operating in China. The exact opposite of what it was even 10 years ago when they were encouraging Western companies to come to China. Um, I think this is very um, bad I think this is the more this happens, the more we move towards a condition of a cold war and ultimately potential of a hot war. Um, it, 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 it's not something we should celebrate. Um, but I found, you know, Sequoia was six, seven years ago. The last time I talked to this founder who, who passed away, um, Sequoia Capital was was absolutely unequivocally committed to China. China was a big source of its returns. The idea that Sequoia would leave China, huge, huge, in, in terms of this delinking and, and the fact that it is, it is happening. It is happening. And the fear, I think, that American investors have in, in putting their investments in China. And, and you know, it's going to take a year for Sequoia to unwind because they have to separate the investors, who's in China, who's here. The, the partners are going to have to kind of separate. Legally, it's probably... I can't imagine the legal bills, millions and millions and millions of dollars to, 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 to figure this all out and to settle this. Um, also, the India play is, is, is interesting, but it, it does make sense. If, you know, my guess is that 
partners from the U.S. who flew to China, also went to India, also went to other places in Asia. They do a trip. Once you're giving up on China, you might as well just spin off the rest of Asia as well. Sequoia will keep, the U.S. Sequoia will keep its satellites, if you will, in Europe and in Israel. Um, it, it, it's The primary thing here is it's spinning off China. I think that's big news, and I think that it's, uh, again, an indication of more of this delinking between American business and, and, um, and, and China generally. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.